How's it going guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Um, in today's video, as you will be able to see, EA have come out and said at what time was it? Quarter past nine UK time that we will not be getting a demo this year. Now, in my knowledge, I don't know whether this is completely accurate. I don't think that there's been a year where they have not brought out a demo since Ultimate Team has been out. Um, obviously, they didn't used to bring a demo years ago when, you know, it was just the standard FIFA online seasons that I don't think they did then. But since Ultimate Team's been out, in my knowledge, we've always had a demo. This is the first year that we've not had the demo. And I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, why? I understand. If you re Let me read the tweet to you. So, we are releasing a demo for FIFA 21. Okay. Instead, we are, we've are we made the decision to focus our development team's time on delivering the best full game experience for current and next-gen consoles. So, the Xbox um, Xbox X and S and the PS5 are due to come out in about six weeks. Say about six weeks. So, I can understand why you want to you know, put more time and effort into something, but I don't think that is the case why we're not getting a demo. I think there might be two reasons. Um, and I'll go into that in a second. So, again, on the tweet it says, We look forward to EA Play members jumping in 10 days from now and launching the game on October the 9th. So, EA Play is the same as EA Access, where you can play the 10 hours free trial as long as you've got EA Play or EA Access. Um, which now is obviously being confirmed. So, the 1st of um, October is going to be the date that we're all going to get to play the game. For people that haven't tried, obviously, the uh, the beta and, you know, what would have been the demo. Obviously, we're not getting that now. Hopefully, by then, we should also have the web app out as well. I'm assuming that's coming out on the 30th, based off what I've seen on the internet. So, the first taste of the game that people may get now is going to be the 1st of um, October. Which, for me, I'm not... I, I don't know. The demo is something that I'd like to play on because I'd like to stream it and show people what the game's like. Um, obviously, you normally get about 10 different teams that you can try out and, obviously... Try the game mode. Well, not the game mode, sorry. Try the demo. I think you could play Volta last year. I can't remember if you could or not, but I'm sure you could. Um, and obviously, it gives you a little bit of an insight to, you know, the mechanics of the game and obviously what the graphics look like and all that type of stuff. So, in terms of the demo itself, I don't think it's massive that they haven't brought it out. But I think the reasons why they're saying that, obviously, they, they want to focus all on, you know, bringing out the best possible game for current and next-gen consoles. I think that's a little bit misleading, and I don't think that's the case. I think the reason why they've done it is partially because of COVID. Obviously, you know, it's not something that we're going to be discussing on here now, you know, too much. But, obviously, with that affected a lot of companies and businesses, I think that's affected these as well. Because, obviously, at a point, they will probably have to have um, stopped, you know, creating the game or doing whatever they have to do to get the game out on time and i think the demos obviously took the downfall on that possibly i could be wrong but that's just my thinking about it and secondly it could be they could be using this as an excuse for people to not try the game so they might you know think oh i'll just buy the full game so it could be a little bit of a market stunt to try and make some more money as well and get more people to buy the game because this year more than ever a lot more people are deciding you know i don't think i'm going to buy the game this year just because of how bad fifa 20 has been i've played the beta so i know what this game three or four weeks ago felt like in terms of FIFA 21 so I know that it is better than FIFA 20 based off the beta hopefully the full game is better because we all know what it's like it changes and you know gets updates all the time but hopefully it is better based off what I've played it is better so I think that could be the reason why they're putting all the focus on the game because of the resources over the last couple of months may have affected the demo being getting brought out on time that's just my thinking um but obviously now we have got the confirmed date of when we're going to all get to play EA Access slash EA Play anyway. So 10 days from now, the 1st of October will be the first time that every single person, if you've got them subscriptions obviously enabled, you will be able to play the game. I'm quite happy for that. I will go on, I'll play a lot of drafts, I'll do some um, foot jumps. In fact, I'll qualify for foot jumps. I will do some squad battles to get myself some rewards. And I'll play some rivals to get used to the game, get myself some, um, some points on the board. Obviously you get packs. If you're, um, for, I think you only have to play a couple of games to get maybe rank four in whatever rank that you're in on rivals obviously i'll be uploading fifa points because you know I, I i am a content creator i want to try and get as much out of the game as possible and for me the best way to utilize your fifa points is by playing drafts so interesting to see if it shows that they've put all the time and effort into the actual full game instead 
time will have to tell. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick little update of what I've just seen. Some of you might see this, some of you might not, some of you might not be on Twitter. Um, if you are following me on Facebook, you might have seen it because I did post about it about five minutes after it happened, after they put this tweet out. But if you didn't, make sure you check me out. Obviously, all my links are in the description of the um, this video. Make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think. Why do you think they haven't brought the demo out? Do you think it makes a difference? Are you quite happy to just, you know, let them put all the time and effort into the full game? I am personally, because the demo is not something I can spend a lot of time and I don't really enjoy it too much. So I'm quite happy with the have actually put all the full time and effort into the full game and hopefully it shows. But um, yeah, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all for the next video. See you later.